Oh, baby, look at that damage. Okay, this deck might actually be the best deck ever created. Is there a reason you play this over Nature Shaman? I mean, I just I just recently played a Shaman deck. I played Tendril Shaman. Um, I play this on three into that on five. I don't need to keep Innervate. But I just played Tendril Shaman and I don't necessarily want to play the same class back to back. I mean, it's not back to back. I played it on Friday, but I, I um, didn't play over the weekend. So I don't, I don't want to play the same class back to back. And I haven't played Druid yet, and I want to use the new Legendary because I lost to it one time, and I was like, wait a minute, that Snake Oil just did 16 damage to my face, what the hell just happened? And then I just did it to them, which was also pretty, uh, pretty cool. Mining Casualties is annoying, but fine, I'll Hero Power kill one, and then it'll die. Sparkling File is, is quite good. I'm actually pretty impressed I was able to win the last game too. What happened? Just dying from 30 HP so frequently with little counterplay is boring. No, yeah, I 100% agree. I think that the state of the game, the state of the whole meta, is absolute dog shit right now. Genuinely, I, I, at first I was very excited about this expansion, and I still am cautiously optimistic about the expansion, for for multiple reasons. I think several of the things look very fun, but like, let's look at the best decks in the game right now, or at least the things that I have experienced. Right. Paladin can kill you with an insane board or kill you from hand with Leroy. Hunter, your typical aggro deck with stuff on board, but it's so fast, there's really not much you can do about it, which is why their win rates are so high. Warrior and Warlock kill you basically from hand with Odin or the Wheel of Death. Very little interaction. Shaman is Nature Shaman or Tendril Shaman. Tendril Shaman's pretty fun. Priest gets to take an extra turn and says, fuck you. Druid is an OTK. Mage doesn't really have much right now. Rogue can draw their entire deck in one turn. Um, it just it feels really uh, bad, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It just feels garbage. Crystal Cluster, and then we'll go Crystal Cluster again. Actually, a really, really good set of turns. We can do this next turn, and then this, this, to hopefully draw one the Owalonius. They're gonna draw a lot of cards, but it doesn't matter. Like, I think that a lot of the things in the meta looked like they could be fun. And I'm very excited to see what happens after things get nerfed or buffed, which I'm assuming will happen eventually. I haven't looked at anything over the weekend because I was just taking a break from Hearthstone and, and most games in general. But yeah, there's a lot of problems in my opinion with just the meta. Mm. Ramp up. Not really threatened by the board, so I can do this plus this next turn. Try to stall out for a little bit more, I guess. I think I want to use the first cover artist on Eonor, and then the second cover artist if I can draw on Alonius. I was so no, yeah, the previous meta was also super duper lame because we had played against the same basic things over and over and over again. So like, I get it. I'm I'm also happy that the meta changed. I just think that there's a lot of very powerful things. <laughs> And I don't know, my main, my main issue isn't even necessarily like... Death do oh apart. my gosh, it's such a big one. My main issue isn't even like the set itself, it's just the lack of interaction in the set, if that makes sense. Um, I'll get ENR hopefully. Mmm, okay, so that is not ENR. We're gonna have to figure out a way to possibly deal with this in some other way. Aulonius is good. But is it good enough? Oh, I have this. I can't OTK them yet. Not even close. Yeah, I mean, I still think I take it because it's my... I mean, it could be Nomal um, Nomalia. And then we hit here. It cleaves it. It'll kill off this. But then he'll draw a bunch of cards. But I do have to figure what out a way to kill this so I don't I die. Do. I think it's Nomalia. And then it's a cluster, and then we'll hero power. Wait, I should have just played this. It's fine, whatever. I'll let them commit more to the board here anyway. I don't know why I didn't think I had the mana to play this. That was kind of stupid. Hollow Hound wouldn't... Uh, also, they're... Okay, that's fine. They do still have to just trade into my board here, which I'm actually perfectly okay with. It gives me the time to play this. Unfortunately, Frost Lotus Seedling is a bit slow here. Sure, Nomalia should be just fine. We're able to wipe pretty much the entire board with her. 
with her death rattle. It's actually quite nice here. Stormwind meta was Stormwind meta was even more toxic. No, yeah, for sure. There were definitely worse metas. I'm not saying this is the worst thing ever, but it definitely has some issues. Let's draw a card. Funnel Cake's pretty good. We'll play Nomalia. The reason why we played that one is because uh, the game's going to be over in the next three turns, right? Oh, we make him overdraw a couple of cards. That's nice. With the game... Oh, they overdrew the head. Let's go. Uh, but the game's not going to last more than three turns. It'll probably last two. Um, so I don't think that that card's ever going to blossom, but this card will blossom, so it's fine. We just have to figure out how to draw UNR fast. The moon is actually quite good for quite a few classes being viable. It's just the most and best decks are uninteractive. No, yeah, like I said, I didn't really have a problem with like the 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 expansion or the cards. It's just the meta feels bad. Like the things that are strong are so ungodly strong that nothing else can really keep up and you're dying from hand or in like five turns before you can even really play the game. So, you know, it's it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's just not great. Do I want to reduce the cost of these spells twice or generate some random spells and then reduce the cost once? Because these things are going to be free anyway. I think I will generate some cards and then reduce the cost once and just hope I get something good. Um, I don't hate this. This can put something out on the board, which isn't the worst. Conductivity is with funnel cake going to be insane. Um, So that's that's fine. We have infinite mana with this and that, so... We'll just, uh, innervate out this then and see what happens. This is fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I just wanted to put some pressure out there because there's no way I win the game in a turn because I don't have Eonar and I don't really have that much spell damage in my hand. I need to draw at least one more spell damage card. Also, I guess since I have infinite mana, do I ever just generate more spells? Because, like, this into this, this will give me basically nine mana, so I can play this and anything I, anything else I want after that. Um, excuse me? Absolutely fucking not. Who are you, Alorn? What do you mean, who is Alorn? He's, he's him. What is this? Oh, it's the finale. It doesn't matter. Because Alorn has gifted a lot of subs to people, and he's always in the stream being nice to people. He's just a nice guy. I don't really have anything else to play, so I think I do need to generate more spells. See if I can find anything here that's kind of useful. Mmm... Oaken Summons does... Does thin my deck a little bit. Which I actually don't hate. Like, yeah, we get rid of... No, actually, it can pull out the Miracle Salesman as well, which would be nice. Woo! We hit the Miracle Salesman. Any problem? Oaken summons again, or you can't play it this turn, but we can still stall for as long as we possibly can here. I guess I could play it again. I'm running out. We're just trying to thin up my deck. Next one was cover artist. That's definitely less good, but. We're just trying to find... I was trying to hopefully get two Miracle Salesmans. If I got two Miracle Salesmans, I think that it was very possible that we went... Hey, Lauren, thank you for the 10 gifted thing, thing, thing. Much appreciated. If we got the second Miracle Salesman for another Snake Oil, I think it was fine. But it might also still just be GG next turn. I'm pretty sure that it is. I'm like 95% sure this is GG. To be fair, we only have one of these, but... Never mind, I lied. We have two of them. So it's this. Then it's conductivity into funnel cake to give us a whole bunch of mana. And then it's this. Then it's this. And then it's boom plus boom boom. This one's a tribute. 
and then this is should be 16 right boom and then this is 18 and then we had living roots for zero mana to finish off. I'm telling you guys, this deck's actually not bad. I'm telling you. Druid does not deserve to have a 35% win rate. I'm telling you. I like the Miracle Salesman. Um, I like playing this on two. It can generate me value. I don't think I want to keep this guy in my hand. I feel like there are other cards that I can try to get, but maybe I should have kept it. But it'll be fine. We'll generate spells with this one and then reduce the cost with this one. Mmm, boop, cost. solves any problem. But no, yeah, that last game was pretty good until the very last turn where I miscalculated lethal. That was a bit of an oof. Mm. Actually, do I want to generate? Because if I do, it might overdraw me. Because if I generate two cards, it go down to six, go to five. Or go to five, go to seven. Because then I'll also have this in my hand. What shall I do? Just use reduce. Honestly, just reducing the cost of Funnel Cake is fine, but we need to reduce so you can play this, Wild Growth, and then this next turn. But the problem is, I need to have space in my hand to play this, and I'm honestly kind of down to just play Snake Oil. Wild Growth is fine. Delightful. Then I play this to generate two spells. So that way I can maybe have resources to kill. I go to seven cards, go to eight next turn, play that. Yeah, I won't overdraw, it's fine. We're chilling. We go to eight, then we play this, go to seven, and then back to eight, nine. We'll be at, we'll top deck, we'll go to 10. We will not overdraw, unless they have a way of somehow making me draw cards, which I do not think is something that that deck is really known for. Owl Druid with the Deputy card. I mean, the Deputy card isn't bad, don't get me wrong. I just think that if you, again, like, hand size is already kind of a problem. Okay, Nomalia is pretty solid. I was hoping for a Crystal Cluster, though. So that's not good, because I wanted to ramp into ENR as quickly as possible. This is so stupid. He's... I mean, based on the way he's playing, I basically know for a fact he already has the thing in his deck. The th or the thing in San Leroy. Like, I'm just gonna die. We got Crystal Cluster, but I don't think it really matters, because guess what? I probably just die next turn. Which is so stupid. What shall I do? <sighs> Heal a damage, draw a card. Play Nomalia. Innervate's nice. It does get me kind of close to being able to play Unor. Or at the very least, I can coin out Yogg, but again, I don't think it matters. Also, I just let him heal for no reason. That was the wrong target to hit. I don't know why I let him heal for. Actually, no, they were already at full HP. It didn't matter. To perfection. Sure. Stealing that minion doesn't really do anything. I'm hoping to draw a heal card or an armor card. Oh, jeez. Magnetic it. Let me steal it with Yogg Saron. and give it like taunt or something. Actually, this I could steal. I could steal this. I wouldn't hate that. Healing 4 HP. Actually kind of a big deal. Or Pendant of Earth to heal 7 and then hope I don't die. I just need to hope they don't have Wind Fury. Shit. I think I also can't take Aulonius. I have to take Cover Artist. Which is very frustrating, but I think I have to take Cover Artist here. You might be wondering why, and it's because I need to get a copy of ENR next turn. Oh, it sucks ass. I only heal four. I could just die. Because oh, I don't get any taunts. Shit! I don't get any taunts. Well, we drew him anyway. Um, boom into this. 20 damage. Am I dead? I might be dead. I don't know. 
The idea is refresh mana crystals, play this, coin out drum circle to make them even bigger, assuming I don't die next turn. But we'll see. Reborn. Could also be Yogg, make them all fight each other. I don't know. It's just, it's so, his board is so big. It's not even like they're normal sized minions that I can realistically deal with. Sure. I bestow these Restore. Well, no, refresh mana crystals, then play this. Restore to full HP. I bestow these gifts upon the world. The magic of life. Trying to think if I ever point out drum circle or if I just play this to draw another card. Cause next turn it's gonna be Yogg to make them all attack each other. I could double innervate out Yogg now and force them to attack each other and just have a really big board and just hope that it's enough. You know what? Fuck it. I just need to hope that Yogg doesn't kill my own board. But we can do that. Force them to attack each other. Just don't kill my own. I have enough mana to play something, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Holy shit! All right. Bet. Oh my god. I should have killed this minion. I don't think it's going to matter too much. But I should have killed this minion. I thought that it died, but I forgot I had reborn. Oh, God. Wait, I just played Drum Circle next turn. I have a board of taunts. Wait a minute. We might be in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Next turn is a myth. Shut up. The next turn is not a myth. I told you. We were chilling. That Yogg was insane. Dude, Yogg... Sometimes you just gotta believe in Yogg and he will he will provide. Um, no Malia hits right here, kills off these things, which is definitely rough. No, wait, he doesn't have enough mana to do that. Interesting. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. I could have killed off the one one. Hopefully he doesn't pump it. What are you doing? Oh, you bitch. Oh, that's so cringe, dude. Oh, uh... I am frustrated with that, but it's okay. It's no biggie. What do I steal? Okay, look, I don't know if I necessarily want to steal a minion from him is the problem. If I draw until my hand is full, this is 5, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If I draw two living roots, I win. What? Shall I do? So I feel like it's low key worth it. If I draw two living roots, I win, right? Um, draw until your hand is full. Okay, we drew two living roots. We win, GG. So then we go boom to give them all plus two plus four. We'll go one living roots to kill this. Actually, technically, we should do this. It doesn't really matter, because then this will do three damage. And that is exactly lethal. Get shit on, you stupid paladin. Oh, this deck might be insane. I don't know. The deck's pretty good. I don't think in small is a bad card. In fact, I actually think that that's a very good inclusion. I don't know why I haven't thought about it. But what do you take out for it? I wonder what cards have performed the worst. Pendant of Earth, I kind of do still need to make sure that I draw the minions. Malfurion's Gift seems to underperform quite a bit. Like in most matchups, it seems to just have a low win rate when kept, but I don't know. Also, in Smallin does hurt Nomalia a lot. Like if you play it, then it makes Nomalia basically useless. Coin this out on four, or we just play this on turn four, to be honest. Do we generate resources, or do we reduce the cost? I'm gonna say we generate cards. But if we generate cards and they're expensive cards, that doesn't really help me at all. 
Hmm. Let me think here. No, I think we're gonna coin this out on four, which won't overdraw me, and then we just have to hope we get Crystal Cluster off of that for five mana. And if not, it's not the end of the world. We can still do a couple of different things, but we'll figure it out. I think Funnel Cake is more efficient mana cheat unless more than two combo pieces are still in the deck. That's also kind of true. You have to play in small in, it takes your turn, then you have to find the cards in the first place. Do I just play this? Do I just play in small in? Or do I just play pendant to draw like ENR? What shall I? I mean, I guess I could also draw Owlonius. I don't really want to do well. I guess it would make it more likely that ENR gets me one of these things. So let's let's do it. Let's let's get one of the cards. Uh, we didn't get offered Owlonia, so I'll take ENR, and then they won't know what I took. But ENR, once I uh, ramp up to full, it should be pretty nice. But now that make that should make it slightly more likely. Now it's a four and five, or four and two and five. Sorry, that we get it. You're so cringe, dude. Uh, we can't draw the other. Arr, you're so cringe, actually. That pisses me off. But if we draw a crystal cluster, I'll forgive it. Okay, not crystal. Well, Owlonius isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, I, I have a combo piece now. I'll smack it. There's no reason not to. No ramp from crystal cluster does kind of suck, though. Why aren't you cheering? I don't know if I would hit that. Oh, you are just gonna kill it. Never mind. That's fine. Hey man, enjoying your con. Best of luck. Uh, give combo shaman a look. I probably won't play it anytime soon. Not because I don't want to, but because I played a shaman deck somewhat recently. We got crystal cluster. Okay. Um. I'll just reduce the cost of some spells. It's fine. Mostly did that for funnel cake and hand size, basically. Actually hitting that allows them to heal up more and get more things. So let's just work on killing this You know what I think I just pass Because if I if I hit Then that means this gets to heal up more and it gets to summon a minion that's bigger, but if they have less HP Oh My gosh, they get to draw so many cards. Oh, that's bad. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that, to be fair, but geez, Louise. So would I like to generate cards and then do this or reduce the cost? No, I'll just generate some cards. I've already reduced the cost of a funnel cake. That's really all I needed. Um, you're very interesting, but not particularly good. Wait, how did they gain the 10? Oh, because I already played one. That's my bad. Um, got several innervates. Okay. We'll go with that. I mean, it's not great by any means, but mining casualties is interesting. I don't really want to play Yogg at this point. Yogg feels kind of bad. Any problem. Sure. You kill off your own minion somehow. Okay. Sure. Again, I don't really want to play Yogg. I'd rather draw a bunch of cards as soon as possible. Living Roots is definitely a card for sure. Um, hmm. Never gonna play a secret. I'm taking a decent amount of damage. I kind of want to empty my hand. So this will, I could play this and have it draw me a bunch of cards and just play a bunch of innervates, to be quite honest with you, hmm. which I don't hate. Drawing four cards, like I don't need to heal. I don't need to refresh mana crystals, but what I do need is I need to draw. So. I bestow these gifts upon the world. Draw four is fine. It's not great, but it's what I have to do, I think. We don't want to overdraw, so we'll just take one that we're not going to play. I guess we could... Honestly, 
Play swipe. I'm not gonna play it. It doesn't matter what I take here. It's just gonna go away. We can play this next turn to gain some taunt minions, draw some cards. I just, I need to draw this so I can reduce the cost of a spell so I can hit him in the face. Wait, have I already played a cover? No, I just drew a cover artist. Does that mean I win the, I think I win the game next turn. No, I don't have, um. I do not have really any damage spells. So I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I'm gonna have to draw some damage spells it seems. By which I mean I need the uh, sparkling vial. Sure, doesn't want to overdraw. Makes total sense to me. Fine with that. Could also live with the living roots as well. I think it's almost enough damage. Miracle Salesman's definitely good. I think technically yeah. this into draw two is better. Gain armor, definitely keeps me alive. We found the dollhouse and we found a file, which means we should win the game next turn. But uh, just to be safe, let's just do that to protect myself a little bit. And I think we do win the game next turn. We play you, then we play you on you. And then we play funnel cake to get three mana back then we play this and then we play this and then that should be enough damage to win i want to say and then we'll also have a free um spell off of miracle salesman so we should be we should be winning can you have played innervate into a draw you had the second dirty route are you fucking kidding me dude well i don't really know how i win now if he kills that. I was hoping it was Yogg. Even if it was cover artist, it was fine. But I think that's just GG. I mean, Yogg could still maybe randomly get me lethal. So I'll, I'll play it out and see if Yogg gets it for me. But that's really bad. Oh! Hold on. He's running with the 50-50, you know what? I respect that. I respect it, it's a 50-50. Leave it up to the Hearthstone gods. Damn it. I cannot believe that you got that so perfectly. Wait. He lost, he didn't attack with the 2-2. That's GG. In fact, it actually saves me mana. Dude. If he hits, he steals the 6-6, but He's kind of close to just like decking out. There is a world where I win through that and I just let Yogg do the magic. Uh, so this card's amazing. This card's god awful. Well, no, let me rephrase that. It's not good in your opening hand. And then this card on turn three for wild growth is fine. Like it, it's not that big of a deal. I like life finders gift. Miracle salesman turn one for some pressure is, is not the worst thing. And it can give me a thing. Show chat. Oh shoot, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. Always forget to do that. Uh, we'll play ya boy, the salesman. Any but yeah, I want to play TFT and honestly, I mean, I haven't played in a while So I started back down in bronze, but like three sets ago. I was masters. So like I'm not Garbage at the game. It's just oh my gosh It's just so hard to make content for it, right? I should have killed this so that way he would have no minions left on the board a little bit of a misplay, but it's not like it's a big, big deal. He's gonna play the three, four. Oh, okay. But like, it's not like League of Legends where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna spend 10 hours learning how to play, um, what's it called? Uh, let me just gain some mana here. Let me kill that off. He draws a card, but it's no biggie. All right, I can learn a character. Or it's not like, Hearthstone has the solo adventures or like expansion series things that I can do with Warren. It's just all the same freaking gameplay. Like if you actually type TFT into the, the uh, like search, 
it's just all like i got this minion to three stars the equivalent of like hearthstone battlegrounds being like i got this character to golden and it was broken like no it, it's not that cool <laughs> Uh, what do we draw? Give me the owl. Um, this is actually okay. I could see myself playing that. I'm not really under that much pressure right now, to be honest. I can gain some mana crystals next turn. As well as play the location. I don't really care about that 2-4. I'm not gonna have enough minions on the board for me to really care about, um, losing a bunch of stuff. So it's okay. No biggie. No, I drew a plague. Oh, that's so lame. I'll play that. Uh, I'm not gonna die next turn, so next turn I'll gain some armor and do this, and then probably try to lower the cost. Do I even need to do that? I don't even need to do that. And so I wanna refresh mana crystals and then see if I can find the uh, cover artist. Because I think that's what I wanna do. But TFT, it's just, it's hard to make content. I love the game so much. I just don't really see a way that I can make content for it. Without all, like, sure, if I hit Challenger, which I don't even know I could do, it's basically hitting, like, rank 100 in Legend. Like, I could maybe do it, but it's very unlikely. No! It's actually not a big deal, because this is going to cost 10 mana anyway. Sick. I Refresh mana crystals. This is so stupid. This is so dumb that this is something that I'm even allowed to do. I <laughs> bestow these gifts upon... Um. Let me draw until my hand is full. <laughs> Salesman's interest. Oh, I trolled. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. We're not going to talk about it. I should have lost the game like right there. I'm completely, I'm a complete buffoon. Uh, what was I gonna? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this, but actually, you know what? I can make this work. I can make this work. I think. Um, I wanted to play you. Uh, it's okay. We'll just gain armor, I guess. Reduce. Play that. Gain armor. Draw two more cards. Oh, it's okay. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just need to find Owl. Owlonus, whatever his name is. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Oh, okay. Um, like that doesn't really matter too much to me. I guess it, I guess it kind of does. Oh, yikes. Well, that's not good. Oh, and then it's going to get, oh my gosh. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Um, heal up. Gain some. Oh, wait, we can get Owl off of this. Okay, it's guaranteed off of this. We just need to survive one more turn, which I think is very reasonable. I think it's doable as long as you don't drop plagues. Awesome. No, sick awesome. That's so, that's so sick. I, that's, that's so sick, actually. Is what I wanted to, I meant to say that that is like the cool, that is like the best thing that could have happened to me right there. Should I have just, should I have just cleaved this? Oh God. Um. I'll have one mana left after this. I need to do this, kill these off. I do still have another funnel cake, which is nice. It's just, I don't know if it's gonna be enough anymore. Uh, yikes. Because I can't play both of these together anymore unless I draw Innervate or Funnel Cake. This is fine. I'm not about to die, so I'm cool with it. Any problem. Look up on e Core. Clickbait Druid, or did you have an inspiration for a deck? Uh, this isn't Clickbait Druid necessary. Oh my, wait, am I dead? No, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. All right, we top deck, Innervate or Funnel Cake, and there's no way we ever die here, right? We, we just don't die. We're just too good to do. We're just too good to die. Okay, Unholy Plague doesn't matter. Unholy Plague's fine. It's tilting, but it doesn't matter. Good. Your next card costs this much less. That's lethal, right? Am I stupid? I don't think I'm stupid. 
But then again, maybe I don't 100% know how it works. So this is gonna do a buttload of damage, right? It doubles the effect of it. So that's like, that's like a ton. That's like a, a crap load. And then it's this. And then, oh baby, look at that damage. Okay, this deck might actually be the best deck ever created. I'm not even kidding. I don't know why Druid is sitting at a 35% win rate when they can do that. Maybe it's because Paladin can kill you on turn five, but you know, who cares? Um, I, will go forward I think it goes cost. generate nature spells. Really? This is a bad, I don't think that's a bad card. I think it goes generate spells and to reduce their cost. Yogg's run's fine, I don't really mind. I don't know, maybe I should have looked. You know what? Maybe I'm just not hard mulliganing enough for Frost Lotus Seedlings. We could double, no, we'll generate cards first and then we'll reduce the cost. Job's done. Oh, you're pretty interesting, actually. Sure. Okay. Reducing the cost is not bad, but not having a funnel cake's not great. I can kill that and have two taunt minions, but I can also use this for zero mana at some point to guarantee a trigger on funnel cake later on. So we'll actually pass. We'll play this next turn to summon some five fives and then we'll play this into this because I don't think that they're able to do like that much. Well, okay, to be fair, within reason. <laughs> Funnel cake's cool. Boop. Uh, get two five fives. We'll play this, and then even if they play the Doomkin, I can play this again anyway. I have enough mana to do it. Yeah, that last game literally came down to a top deck, and that's that's the main problem with this deck. I feel like it's like it's it's close to being there, but it's not quite there in terms of like the combo. It definitely does enough damage. I just feel like. You need all of your mana every single time. It just barely feels not strong enough is what I'm trying to get at here. Uh, let's go, boom. Wondering if they play the Doomkin this turn. If they do, I'll still have eight mana and I can go boom into boom. It looks like they're gonna coin it out, but I can still go boom, boom, and it's fine. It's just annoying. Yeah, it's okay. I don't really care if I take two damage at a time as well. Technically, we should draw first. Um, Pretty solid board, if I do say so myself. Restore to full, draw a bunch of cards. I think drawing cards is pretty important here. First time watching you live? Are you an alien? I am not an alien. What? What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's going to be Wheel of Death, Warlock, but I'm pretty sure that even if they play the Wheel of Death, I have a couple of turns to potentially OTK them. Like, obviously, it puts me on a clock, but since I am an OTK deck, I do think it's very possible that I can kill it. Warrior with Dirty Rat is super broken. Yeah, if they play Brand first, they basically can just destroy your entire hand, which feels... Well, not destroy, but make you play your entire hand, and then they kill off the minions, which feels bad, but... Is what it is. Not Wheel, it's Sludge. That's not necessarily true. They could be putting the Disposal Assistant in there for tempo, and then when they destroy their deck with the wheel, the Sludge will go off and kill a couple of things. Like, that's what I think that the Sludge is in there for. One, two, three, okay, and then they flip the table and wipe my board. Or Hellfire, whatever, it doesn't really matter too much to me, honestly. Yeah, it's fine. It's no biggie. Man, yeah, thank you for the 10 gifted. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing on this fine evening or afternoon or whatever time it is for you? Uh, we're going to draw cards because I think that that's mainly what I need to do for this deck to win. Uh, let's draw some cards. We draw five cards, which isn't bad. It's pretty good, I would say. We're not going to play the other cover artist. That would be a little bit ridiculous. Hmm.
I've got plenty of damage, so we're gonna do this. Any problem? Into this. Running out. Hopefully, yeah, we'll draw both of those. That's guaranteed. And then we're gonna go boom into deal two damage. We should be able to win next turn because we will have this. This has been reduced in cost. This will give us a snake oil, which is more damage. And we'll have one, two, three damage spells and a funnel cake for extra mana if necessary. So I feel quite good about this. I feel quite good. The only issue is the fact that I only have one location. So it's going to be four spell damage. So it's four. But then we'll get a little bit more with Alonis with this. I don't know how much damage it is. I don't really care. I'm just going to send it. To be fair, my board is locked. He could just leave it like this and then I can't really do much of anything. Could be a decent play. I don't know. Always happy to always happy when Ecor is streaming. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm always happy when I'm streaming too. That's actually a lie. There's a lot of the times when I'm very tilted. I'm pretty sure that it is you. And then funnel cake. And then this. And then you. I don't have enough mana to still play everything because this is four, then that, then that, then that. And it's not really that big of a deal. This one's a tribute! Then it's boom. And then it is ten. Plus, or it's, I guess it's even more than that, than this. And then we also have the snake oil, plus hitting him with the four. Nice! Not bad. Not bad at all. Like I'm saying, this deck is not bad. Like, I think this deck actually has a lot of potential. Crystal Cluster is very slow. I can't keep it. The Miracle Salesman for a one drop is definitely not bad. Oh, I like having this in my opening hand. Thank goodness. Oh, actually, this is a really good hand. I will admit though, one of the things that does bug me is when people like double down on something when I told them that they it, it wouldn't have worked. And they're like, no, it would have worked, just do it. And I'm like, no, it, I had 22 damage. I did the math out, I showed the math. Well, I guess I didn't like show, I didn't like show out the equation, but I pointed to the cards that would have, you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, gain an armor, hopefully that armor comes in clutch. I don't know, with wild growth into this on four, but I don't know. I didn't have lethal. I was off by one damage. The only reason why I had the cards in my hand was because I traded away the snake oil. I kill off this guy, I get another snake oil, but it wouldn't have ended up mattering. Uh, we are going to go for wild growth. Delightful. Do I care about the 1-1 one, one, or do I want to just go face? I'll just kill it off. The less damage I take, the better. That's fine. I think that means he's Highlander, actually. The fact that he played that, which is weird. We it's not bad, it's just weird. Crystal Cluster, very nice to have. I'll play that next turn. Owlonius, also very good. I think they need to change more the core set. When they add the auras, like they said, we are going to change it to reduce the cards. Wait, what? Never touch again. Wait, what? I mean, the auras are very strong. I definitely think that they are going to be, at least the lifesteal one is going to be one of the things that they nerf for sure. Like there's no way they don't nerf it. Mm, would I rather play this or this, this, this turn? I might as well just ramp up. I'm not gonna get that many top minions anyway. I can play, I can trade this away and then just play this. Cause I don't really need the snake oil. It's good damage. But if I don't have the locations or any of the setup, it's not really gonna do anything anyway. So we'll just do that. We got a nice little removal here. Actually, no, this doesn't technically mean that it's Highlander. It's just a kind of different version of the deck. We gained some armor. We're definitely still in it. We could play this as well as this. We can do this into this. We got a lot of different things we can do. We've got enough damage spells is what I'm trying to say. So I just, I need to, um, 
I need to find the locations now. Oh, goodness gracious. That is, that is a problem. Playing around Nomalia. Honestly, we found a location, which is great. Gain 10 armor. Funnel cake plus ENR is pretty insane. Boom, into reduce cost. And I'll just hero power. ENR next turn to just draw a bunch of cards might be what I have to do. I don't know, I don't love it, but like restoring my HP doesn't really do anything. I don't think he can do 30 damage with seven mana because he needs eight mana to play Leroy plus the Wind Fury thing to burst me down. So I at least feel somewhat safe, but I need to play ENR to try to draw the other location. And then if I draw the location, I can win the game as early as next turn. So that's great, but I don't know. Paladin's weakness is direct damage and destroying big minions. The problem is it's hard to do the direct damage and actually punish them for it when they get minions that are this big and can potentially OTK you on turn eight with Leroy. Or the um the two one charge minion, actually. Which is also very strong, by the way. So we draw more cards. We're gonna keep Innervate because I do still need Innervate, but we will draw cards until my hand is full. We'll draw four. We get the Dollhouse, which is very good. We do not get a cover artist, unfortunately, which is less good. But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I just kill him next turn anyway with Owl. One dose solves any problem. I'm pretty sure that just coining this out is still good, because then these things reduce in cost significantly. Then I can play this, 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 this. And then a snake oil. How much damage is that, actually? If we have six spell damage, that should be enough to kill him, right? Unless he gains armor. Because we'll have six spell damage, so that's eight, 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 six. That should be exactly lethal. This should be exactly lethal next turn unless he gains armor, which I don't think that Paladin can do. I guess he could also kill me. That is also something that I guess I should maybe be aware of, but I highly doubt that they will kill me. Um, yeah. I don't think that it'll happen, but it's possible. Also, if we top deck cover artist, it's this into this, this. Cover artist for free, and then this for free to do 16 extra damage along with a snake oil. Like, we, 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 we're, we're fine if we draw... We just need them to not draw armor. If they get armor, we have to play cover artist. Um, And again, all of this is moot if they end up killing me this turn anyway, which I guess is within the realm of possibilities. I don't know. Oh. Well, that's weird. I'm still killing him this turn, though. Paladin out heals direct damage. You can't out deal an OT or out heal an OTK though. So there's that. Well, we drew cover artist, which is even better. Um, so it's boom, and then we'll activate this and then this, and then it's gonna be boom, boom. This is free, and then this is free, and then we've got more damage from this as well. Uh, the problem is, if we didn't kill him literally that turn, he kills me with Leroy next turn, so that sucks. But we got him, so that's cool, I guess.